all of you welcome back once again a lot of you have asked me that we are building this dapp how we can utilize it in our mobile device because it's easy to interact with the web3 application we have metamask we have other wallet extension in our desktop in our chrome but we don't have those extension in our mobile device so if we want to access or make any transaction in decent application how we can do that so we already built a lot of project on our channel and all those projects are 100% compatible for making the transaction in your mobile device so that's why i'm recording this video to give you a live demo that how you can do the transaction in your mobile device so i hope you guys have watched the last video in which i give you the complete overview of our crypto portfolio management app in which we have included all of this feature so that's the application you can see right in the desktop in which we're going to do all the transaction right in our mobile device so here you can see i have opened my phone and that i have the application running so what i'm going to do is first i have to connect my wallet and you can see i have this connect wallet so i'll click on that and it's going to give me a couple of options so you can pick any provider which you want you can go with the web3 wallet you can go with the coinbase you can go with the rembo or you can go with the metamask so i generally like to use metamask for all my actual account and the test account and i have metamask application in my phone so i can easily be able to make the transaction so if you want to go with the wallet connect you can simply click and it's going to give you a multiple option you will have all of this option and you can pick any one you can pick any one to connect but i will go with the metamask because that's the most common wallet you will find so i'll simply go back i'll click one more time and i will click on metamask and it's going to simply open the metamask application i have in my phone so you can see it's calling me to allow i'll say allow and it will automatically redirect me to my metamask application i have this faced authentication i have added so you can see here this is my metamask wallet and here it's connecting all i have to do is to simply confirm the connection you can see the url of the website in the project i have explained that how you can deploy the application on internet so other can access so that's make sure to watch the complete video so what i will do i can pick any account which i want but i will simply connect so i'll simply click on connect and here it's connecting just wait give some few second once it will connect successfully you can able to simply go back to your application so what i will do i'll simply come back here and go back to our application so you can see right now we are not getting any notification and this is sometime happen so what i will do i'll simply reload the page and i will try to connect one more time the reason why it's happened because my application is automatically open previously so i'll simply take all of that away now i will simply open it one more time you can see the application is working absolutely fine i'll click on this connect wallet click on metamask and it's going to ask me to allow so i'll simply click on allow and it will take me to the metamask just wait and here it's got open here it's connecting and here i have to select the account which i want i will go with the same account so click on this connect and it say connecting return to app so our connection is completed so this time our connection is successful i want to show you both the part that when it will not connect and when it will connect okay so what i will do i'll simply come here i'll go back to the application and you can see we are connected with our metamask wallet this is the exact account i have in my metamask and you can see this is the exact account c a c and that's what i have here once i connected i can easily be able to interact with the smart contract if i want to change the network i can go to any other network where we have deployed the contract so i simply close this one now i can come back to the nft section and here you will find all the nft which i have created in this particular tab so i can simply scroll through that i can see if i want to explore the transaction so here we are getting all the transactions so you can simply check from your end if you want to go to the create nft you can see this is the nft we have uploaded to the ipfs if i want to mint this this particular nft i can do that very easily i can simply click on this mint and it will take me here these are the information you can check i can simply click on this mint nft and it's going to make a call automatically to our metamask the smart contract and I have to click allow and it will take me to the application it's connecting and i have to wait i will give the confirmation so here this much money we are charging in the contract for creating nft and user is, has to pay it so all i have to do is to simply confirm the transaction so the transaction is happening just wait you can return to the application there is no problem but simply come back here see the confirmation of the transaction and the transaction is successful if you come back to the application you can see the details you will get about the transaction so it's taking a little bit time just give some moment and you can come back to the application if you want to double check your transaction you can come back here not here i have to simply go back let's close this one and the transaction is finally completed the transaction is finally completed if you come here you can see you can able to have the details so sometimes it takes a little bit time or you can simply reload that so make sure to see the confirmation of the transaction in your metamask wallet or you can see but generally you will get the confirmation sometimes it takes a little bit time so you can see if i come back to nft section there i will find all the nft which i have created so this is the nft exact nft i have minted earlier we had two but right now we have three 
so that's how you can do the transaction what i will do if i want to do the swap so if i come back to the swap section and i want to buy any erc20 token so if i see that right this is the current balance i don't have any one of these tokens so what i will do i'll simply buy the token so i'll simply come back here and i want to buy the uniswap so i'm going to spend close to let's say um, i'll give this 0001 i want to buy 10 token because i don't have much fun all i have to do is to simply click on the swap the moment i will do it will automatically open this and i have to simply confirm the transaction so i have to simply remove this one and here i have to simply confirm this much money we are paying for taking the token so i have to simply click on the confirm and the transaction is happening it's telling you to return to the application you can return but i want to see the transaction is in the process and you can see send transaction you can click and you can able to have the details so what i will do i'll simply come here go to my wallet section go to the time locks and you can see the transaction execution you can click on that and you can able to have the details about the transaction which you have done so finally we got the confirmation of the transaction you got it now you can simply come back to your application and you can see you will get the notification so it's loading just wait it skips a moment it takes a little bit of time or you can simply you can see successful transaction i just reload that i have been a little impatient but you have to be patient you will get the notification so we have successfully done the swap of the token so if i come back to the swap section and if i see the balance of the token which i have bought right now we got 10 uniswap so you can literally interact with your smart contract with any decentralized app right in your mobile browser that's why this particular project is very important because we in that in that we have used wing provider which allow you to make the transaction very easily it's allow you to make the transaction very easily in your mobile device so this is what we are exactly using in the industry and all the project which we have built on our channel it's 100 percent mobile friendly you can easily be able to make the transaction all you have to do is to build that signer object which you will get from the wing provider so this is really powerful i would suggest you to follow the complete video complete project you will understand everything if i show you the notification every single thing is working fine recently we have done this swap and that's what we have got perfect i'll simply close that one if i see the notification i can click here and you can see the nft which we have created you can simply slide through that you can click on this this is the details you will find the network where you have deployed the contract if you come back down there you will see this is the nft which you own as an owner if i come back here go back to the create section then you will find more details if you want to generate the nft you can simply upload so this is the one which we have uploaded if you want to generate with the help of ai we have this feature in our crypto portfolio management so you can give the name prompt category and it's going to deploy to the ipfs and it will be there in the application so you can mint if you come back to the transfer section so you can simply transfer the nft to any other user so you can click here you can see the nft details you can simply pick the nft which you want to transfer and provide the address and you can see easily able to make the transaction what if i want to do the transaction in a different network because right now we have deployed this contract in two network one is base so farly and the other one is the ethereum text network i have explained extensively in the project that how you can do the multiple network configuration how you can deploy so if you want to do the transaction on the main end, you can do that very easily so i simply click here and i want to switch the network so the moment i will do the switch it will tell me to allow and it will take me to the my metamask i have to simply click not now and here it's going to simply switch just wait i can see here it asking me to switch the network so simply click on the switch network and right now you are connected with the base so Fali network so you can easily able to make the transaction you can see you got the confirmation i'll come back to the home section and right now we are connected with the base so Fali. i'll come back to the application and there you can see we got the logo you can simply come right now we are connected with the base now if i want to mint an nft or buy a token on the base network i can do that very easily so for that i what i will do is i can do one thing first i will show you that how you can upload because this is the upload feature we have included so you can upload the nft to the ipfs and we need the metadata which we're going to provide in the smart contract erc 721 which is the nft so i'll simply click on this view and here we'll have the option to upload to the ipfs so i'll click on this upload and it's going to make a reload just wait it's uploading once we'll get the document uploaded successfully we'll get the hash of the image so we upload it successfully now i can come back here in all nft and this is the one which we have uploaded i have given the same images there's no problem in that so i'll simply click on this mint and it will take me here and i cannot change this details because this detail is already there in the ipfs so i can simply click on this mint and it's going to make a call to the smart contract and it's going to be registered so you can see it say that insufficient fund so i don't have enough fund for make the transaction because i don't have if i come back here in my in my sofali chain you can see i don't have enough fund zero fund so every single thing is working fine the notification error everything is working fine 
So this is how you can do the transaction and use any Web3 application we have built in our mobile device. It's very easy. I would highly encourage you to follow the complete project. Once you will follow the complete project, you will understand that how you can build this simple custom logic. All the project we have built, it will work absolutely fine on the desktop. If you want to make it compatible in the mobile device, all you have to do is to simply build a signer object which you need to make it interactive in the mobile device. So make sure to follow the complete project till the end. You will understand we have discussed deeply that how you can do and build this configuration in your in your in your MetaMask object and in your Web3 object. So you can utilize it in different devices. So I hope you guys have got a clear understanding that how you can use this Web3 application and make it work in your mobile device so make sure to watch this particular project in that i have explained detail that what exactly we are building in our crypto portfolio management app and what are the features we have and how it's going to be very powerful for managing the crypto nft any type of digital assets in a decentralized ecosystem and user can easily able to do the transaction it also has the feature of multiple network so check that so that's the only thing from my own. I hope you guys have got an idea that how you can do this transaction. If you have any more questions, you can definitely let me know in the comment section. I'll try to help you with that. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.